Oh, 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 right everybody, what is going on? We're here, we're at number eight. The eighth top player in the top 100 players of 2018 for the NFL. We've done well, we've done 91. We've done 91, not 92, because number 10 was not there. Who was number 10? Or do they miss, do they miss number 10 each year? I don't know what happens, but anyways, look. I'm getting my second coffee for the morning. We're gonna crack back into this. We're doing Drew Brees, quarterback for the Saints. And um, we're gonna do just one video per player up until we get to number one from here, okay? That's the plan. Let's do this. Down the 32 yard line? Yeah. That's Rain Wilson from the office. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very exciting. You got your jersey? Sweet. Yeah, we're representing. We're Wilson. 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 There you go. Wilson. 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 Okay, that's cool. That works out. Brother from another mother. There you go. go. But, uh, this is very Rain Wilson isn't the only cast member in the office with friends in the NFL. Kevin, a.k.a. Brian Baumgartner, his pals with the player just revealed at number 10. As well as the quarterback, what? back in the top 10. Aaron Rodgers, number 10. Did I miss that? Did I miss that, guys? What the fuck? <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, top 100, 2018. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so confused. Alright guys, let's keep and going. After being voted number 16 last year and number 30 in both 2015 and 2016. Okay. And number one, it's either gonna be, uh, for me, I might be a little biased, it's either gonna be Drew Brees, Tom Brady or Antonio Brown? Well, you got the two others, right? I watched Drew Brees as I was growing up, and it's crazy, he still got it. In 2017, Whoa! Drew Brees... Look at that list! I have not seen a list like that. That's got to be the best one I've ever seen. Wow, consistency. Consistency, consistency, and excellence. 9, 2, 11, and 6. 30, 30, 16, and now he's at 8. That's incredible. Completed 72% of his passes, an NFL record. He now owns three of the top four highest completion percentage seasons of all time. Wow. Don't change at all, man. It's the same thing, it's the same thing I've been seeing since my rookie year. Drew kind of lays that ball where it's not going to get a big hit. That ball is perfect, right on the money. He's good, man. He's, he's a Hall of Fame quarterback. He make accurate throws. Beautifully thrown football that Thomas takes in on the far sideline. He's seen every look for disguises. 14 straight seasons. So he's had over 200 games. Throwing, and he's got a receiver wide open. Brandon Coleman, five yards deep in the end zone. He turns around, and the football's right there. Talk, help each other out. Because if not, he's going to be looking away. He's going to he does a good job of of making you think he's going somewhere and then going a completely different place. He got me one time to play him at our house. Breeze throwing near sideline. Catch made by Tommy Lee. Stays. Get there. Oh, nice work. They were running cover two to that side. The safety did not get there in enough time. Watch Drew Breeze trying to manipulate the safety that side. He continues to lean that way. But instead of throwing him down the field where most quarterbacks would try and get the touchdown, he actually backed him up just a bit. Yeah, I remember that. I don't know why you're talking about it. <laughs> it was frustrating for me. You know, I got to play twice a year every year. He's an incredible football player. You know, smart guy. Always finding the right passes. Always finding that extra time in the pocket to get his guy. Hopefully one day he hangs up the cleats and give us a chance to, you know, Take over the bitch. <laughs> In the NFC wildcard game, Breeze and the Saints faced another division rival, the Carolina Panthers, a team they had beaten twice before. Breeze threw for 376 yards and two touchdowns. The Saints won 31 to 26. Here's Breeze stepping up, delivering down the middle. 
Ted Ginn in his hands, and Ted Ginn will go all the way. As the Saints have struck again through the air, as hard as it might be to beat a team three times in a season, the Saints have done it over against their NFC South rivals, the Carolina Panthers. With the next round at Minnesota, the Saints faced a 17-0 second half deficit. Michael Thomas, touchdown. They came back. Play action. Throw over the middle. Easy oh, touchdown. Nice. Michael Thomas in the end zone. They used their speed against him. Drew was able to check it, fake it, and he's got a perfect window. Outstanding play design for it. And Drew is perfect on that throw. And this game gets a little bit more interesting. Everything, everything misdirection. Lynn Ball. This way, quick. That way, they're taking us out of it now. Here's Breeze, dropping, looking, throwing, into the end zone. Alvin Kamara. Got it. Touchdown, Saints. That's the inside fade. That's the fade route. That's the one that they needed. He would have, um, he would have enjoyed having Kamara there to, to throw to this year. I just want to look up his age, man. If he is over 35, he's a fucking legend. Um, he's 39. Whoa! He is Tom Brady status. Wow. Perfect placement. The Saints led by one and were one play away from advancing to the NFC Championship. Keenan dropping, looking, throwing near sideline, and it's caught by Stephon Diggs, who's going to take it inside the 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Yeah, that, final that was nuts. Of this game. I've seen that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Obviously, he's going to go down as one of the best that's ever played this position. So, any little things I can learn from him, uh, you know, decision making to mechanics to, um, you know, just operation how he how he plays the the game of quarterback. So I try to model as much as I can after him. Great game, bro. You're incredible. Tough to beat, buddy. Yeah. He's a living legend right now, so just to have him, you know, in practice every day, I really embrace it, you know, try to make the best of it because he's about 38, he's on his way out. Breeze actually turned 39 in January, but just signed a $50 million contract to remain with the Saints. Fuck. He has no plans to leave the game anytime soon. No, he doesn't. That's awesome. Sick. So I'll still see Drew Breeze for the next two years, hopefully. All right, guys. That was Drew Brees. I'm not going to look up any of his stats. I'm, going to, I'm probably going to do you know, a separate video on most of these top guys. But for now, we're just doing the top 100. So that was Drew Brees. I want to say, if you have liked this video, please press like. If you want to subscribe, please do. And in the next video, we're going to be looking at Aaron Donald, defensive tackle for the Rams. I'll see you then.